Hey guys, Fox Photo here. I'm back with another tutorial. This time I'm gonna work on a picture from Banff National Park. This was at Bow Lake. It was uh, early at sunrise. And uh, I shot this on the Sony A7R2. And also when I shot this I used the polarizer. And I used the... Uh, I shot this at 66 seconds. So I, sh I used the 6 stop the ND filter to make long exposure. So I shot this at f8 at ISO 50. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this edit in Lightroom. And first here when I shot it as white balance, auto white balance, it was actually warmer. So I want to bring out more of these reds and stuff. So I'm gonna go warmer on the white balance like so also I'm gonna increase the tint okay. and I'm gonna do the bring down the highlights just a tiny bit I mean it was pretty pretty good balance the light you know bring up the shadows like so, do the whites, same thing with the blacks, bring up the shadows a bit more, okay, like that, clarity I'm not going to do anything, I might just bring it down a bit, just so I can make it soft. Maybe that's too much, like so. Vibrance, I'm gonna do some vibrance, some saturation. Looking nice. Also what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a gradient for the sky. I'm gonna do minus 58 and see what that does. Okay. Yeah. I like that. And I'm also gonna just make that part of the sky bluer just like so color just to bring out that blue okay let's check before after okay that's good also you can see here I removed the rock earlier I find it a bit distracting I don't want it there you know I just wanted the nice clean symmetrical image Also, I'm gonna do the an S curve here. I went too much on that, like so. Okay, four, after, nice. <clears throat> so me, I want the colors to really pop. So I'm gonna go in here in saturation, increase the reds and the oranges, the yellows. Blues a bit, the purple, and the magenta. <clears throat> we can toggle on and off here to check what that does. Just boost the color even more, make it even more nice. Okay, like that. I might actually come back up and just open up the shadows a bit more. Okay, that's good. I like that. Next thing you know, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do my sharpening later in Photoshop. So I'm gonna bring that down to zero. Luminous. I'm just gonna do a little bit of noise reduction in case there's anything in the sky. I'm gonna remove chromatic aberration and enable profile correction. Okay, that's good. I like that. And. I'm going to do also one here level to the image because I can make it level by just clicking the, the angle and just draw a line here like so. Now it's level. That's good. Let's check before, after, before, after. Okay. 
I'm gonna make sure I don't have any spots in the sky, so I'm gonna use the visualize spots. Okay, and I have one here, another one here. I think that's pretty much it. Maybe one here. Okay. So, I'm gonna go back. Okay, might just do the contrast a bit here, just a little bit of contrast. Oh, that look nice. Okay, I'm gonna ease off on that. Alright, make it a bit warmer. I it was a little bit blue before. Okay, like that, it's good. I like that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump into Photoshop from here. I'm gonna go edit in Photoshop. It's just a quick And here in Photoshop, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my dodging and burning. I'm gonna do anything else that I might think might work. We'll see, do dodging and burning, do sharpening, and do saving for web. So first I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a new layer here. I'm gonna put it to soft light. And I'm gonna make sure the brush is already selected, it's on white. 4% opacity, it's a big brush, soft brush. Okay. And what I'm gonna do, oops, is I'm just gonna paint in where I want. And I kept the opacity low so I can, you know, it won't be a dramatic change. And I'll just paint a bit here on the mountain, a little bit here, a little bit in the fog there. I bring that out, a little bit in the reflection, so it can match. A little bit here. Okay, that's just like before. After, before. Okay, I like that. Okay. Also, what I want to do is I want to do some brightness here, because. I find the eye follows the bright spot. Before, after, before. And if I found I want too much, I can always come down with the opacity. Okay, and then I'm going to make another layer and switch it to overlay. And the only thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to switch this to black. Yeah. Same brush, I'm going to make a bigger brush, go bigger a bit. And I'm just going to do my own vignette here by just going around the edges and painting it in. And I can always come back and pass it in. Okay, and let's just check before, after. That's good, I like that. I just basically did a pretty much a vignette of everything. So, then I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make a, a new layer, but I'm gonna, with everything underneath, I'm gonna do Alt Command Shift E. That's gonna make a new layer with everything underneath applied to it. I'm gonna switch to. I'm gonna give this image a bit of a glow. By that, I'm get, by doing that, I learned a little trick: is go to Gaussian blur. Twenty-seven point five percent. I always do that around there. Click OK. Okay, and then I'm gonna do adjustments, brightness, and contrast. 
gonna crank up the contrast all the way brightness just a bit not a lot and here I'm just gonna bring down the opacity obviously that's not good I bring down opacity maybe like 9% or 10% let's just see it's not much just gives it this glowy look to the image I kind of like that okay and last but not least I'm gonna make a new layer and I'm gonna go to filter other high pass for sharpening this is when I want to sharpen it for myself. I always keep it at three pixels. I click OK and go to overlay. That will just apply some sharpening. And if I you won't really see it much here, but if I zoom into a hundred percent and then just scroll up. Now if you find here, see this little line here? I think it went a bit too much on the sharpening too much on the edge so I'm gonna try soft light that seems to have done a better job just check before after before after if I find that I still want too much I might just go down the past to like 75 just to make sure these edges before after before see it does give it a little bit of more sharpening make sure it's nice and sharp I'll fit that on screen down okay that's good I like that so I'm pretty happy with that okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a web sharpening sharpening for web and the way I'm gonna do that is my actions I mean I like to have bigger bigger files for web so I'm gonna keep that the same horizontal Okay, this is using the 20 k per action panel. Click OK. It's going to make it into a new file with the uh, web sharpened file. Then I can, before, the, before I save it, I just go convert to profile as RGB because it was Pro Photo RGB that I was working in. Click OK. New file. Save as, you can save it whatever you want, as a JPEG of course, okay, I'm gonna call it Sunrise File Lake, okay, and that's pretty much it, that gives it, makes it ready for printing it, sharing it online, well, you have this file if you ever want to print it, and you have the copied file if you ever want to share it online. And that's it. Thank you, guys. Do check out my other videos online. I have uh, three other videos on, you know, different processing techniques, you know. But this one I wanted to share it because I just love Banff. I love this place. It's really amazing. So uh, thank you guys for watching, and uh, stay tuned for other videos later on.